Hey everybody, uh, it's Madeline and Cindy here from Hunters of the Unknown. Uh, we'll give you guys a few seconds here so people can start joining our um, our broadcast. We're hey going to be yeah. yeah, we're going to be using this to talk about. We just went and did our first UFO meetup after we watched the new movie Arrival. Um, so we were just going to use this broadcast to talk a little bit about that. Oh, white owl paranormal. Oh, hey. Hey, guys. No, I'm <laughs> Wait, looking, what were you I looking at? I'm looking at, at this that? thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. Okay, the screen looked a little bit different, and I'm just looking. I don't know what that is. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, saw the movie last night. Nice. Okay, what did you guys, did you like it? Is that a thumbs up or a thumbs down? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, um, yeah, so while we're waiting, yes, you liked it, great. Um, yeah, if you guys aren't already following us, uh, make sure you swipe up for Android, swipe across for thumbs up, swipe across for iOS, scroll down to our name and click on it. Um, make sure that you're following us. Welcome. First day on Periscope. Oh, I've been seeing that a lot. Oh, I've never yeah. seen that. Oh, hi. Julio's there. Hey, Julio. Hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, so we are uh, talking about the movie uh, Rival, which we just saw this morning. Yeah, actually. we saw the first, <laughs> the first, first matinee at 1040 Very in early. the morning. Very early. And then we did uh, go to, oh, share it to your account. Okay, great. Sounds good. Um, and then we did go to a UFO meetup group after the movie to talk about it. So, um, yeah, so I guess let's talk about what we thought of the movie. I loved it. Yeah, I, I did too. It. it was really unexpected. Just the way it was totally different than any of the recent alien movies that I've seen. So yeah, most of the alien movies are awful, are <laughs> usually horrible. This was really, really good. So definitely would uh, recommend it. <laughs> Hyperdimensional hotties. Oh, okay. We need t-shirts. <laughs> sure. Okay, so the movie was really good, I thought. Um, I think it it's more than just about aliens. You know, yeah. there's, uh, we don't want to really give it away in case, you know, you haven't seen it yet. But, um, yeah, it's more than just about aliens. Um, it's very scientific, I think, and... It really, really, I think good. what makes it so good is it really taps into like right now uh, we're really in this kind of awakening like where a lot of people are starting to believe in uh, higher consciousness and understanding that time is not linear and I think that's really the the main point of the movie is, is to bring that into light and it, that's what made it so good is that it had that unique spin um, on it. Yeah, it's hard to talk about it because I don't want to give it away. It was very original, I thought. I thought it was kind of an original idea, too. Um, yeah. Hey, guys, whoever's uh, coming on in. Hi, thanks for following us. Yeah, I don't speak Russian. <laughs> so I don't know what she said. Yeah, so... Um, really, history? The movie was actually, it was based on a book. Uh, I don't remember the author's name. Oh, it was yeah. like Cheyenne, like I, something it was a Cheyenne. Chinese, Chinese name. And uh, yeah, it was like published in the late 90s. And so I would mm -hmm. be interested in reading the book. It's supposedly a short science fiction uh, short story. So if you guys, has anybody read that book? I'd be really interested to read it. Cause it yeah, was, I would be too. Um, somebody is asking, do you think it, after seeing the movie, did we think aliens exist more than we did before. I don't think it changed our perspective on it. No. Really? No. Oh, I ordered the book. Good. Somebody ordered the book, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't change my perspective, but it definitely was interesting, and I liked that it had a different take on... It wasn't just the typical, like, aliens come here and they know English and <laughs> take over yeah. the world. I yeah. mean, it was definitely unique. So, it, it had a really accurate portrayal, I think, of what it would actually be like if we had a first yeah. contact. Um, so it, they did a really good job of um, kind of showing the hysteria that would definitely happen if, right. if people knew that aliens were real. And yeah, I don't want to give too much away. Yeah, I know it's kind of hard to talk about it's it without giving it away. Hard to talk away, about it without giving it away. But it was yeah, really it was good. Really good movie. It's more than just about aliens. Um, yeah, it had a lot of different themes to it. 
also. But um, really you good want, movie. Definitely. You want to marry an alien? <laughs> I would definitely recommend it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we went to the UFO meetup group, um, which is in Evanston, Illinois. Uh, no, we don't speak much Spanish, although um, I knew what you said there. <laughs> but no, we don't, we don't speak very much Spanish. Uh, is there, there a chance for a second part? I doubt it. It kind of seemed so. like just a one. They one didn't have movie. any open endings. They tied everything pretty much up. Yeah. So yeah. I, I would so see I, I there don't being think a second so. part. Um, yeah, so we went to the meetup group after UFO meetup group, um, which was kind of interesting. It was quite a large group, which I was surprised. Which I don't think that they usually have that many people, but because because they usually have this UFO meetup group in mm -hmm. Evanston on a... Uh, oh yeah, we do have a lot of Mexican fans we do. now. Well, we know a little bit. I learned a Spanish. little bit when I went to, to <laughs> Mexico. I, I knew... Enough to get around as Enough to get around, but yeah. Yeah. Sorry, everybody. Uh, yeah. oh, oh, there we have our translator with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. what I was saying is that they usually have this meetup group on Friday night. Yeah, exactly. Cerveza so, uh, and tacos. I can order a cerveza, that's for sure. <laughs> and ask um, Donde es el baño, too. I need to know <laughs> <Don't> that, too. <laughs> <laughs> the important things. <laughs> Bathroom and beer. Yeah. That's all we care about here. <laughs> So anyway, what I was saying is they usually have this UFO meetup group in Evanston, which is just like a northern neighborhood in Chicago, uh, on Friday nights. And unfortunately, I mean, we both work, so it's, and in Friday traffic, it's like impossible to yeah, get there. It's pretty far for me anyhow. I yeah. live like an hour from here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you live like two hours from Evanston, right? I, I live pretty you live in a, I guess it's about the well, same. Well, yeah. See, I stopped at Madeline's first. Hi from Spain. Hello. Hi. They probably. Oh, oh, I don't know what happened there. Just a like glitch froze. Or something. That was weird. Yeah. But uh, they had it on a Sunday this time. This UFO yeah, meetup. Yeah. So group. we were actually able to go, which was nice. Um, yeah. So after the movie, we all just walked down to there was a you know a Panera, which is just a little cafe where they have a room, and we all got to sit around and talk about the movie, and we got to bring up um, just some points in the movie, kind of like I was saying, the movie deals a lot with. Uh, the idea that time is not linear, kind of the idea of eternalism, that time is actually just another dimension that we're only experiencing like one slice at a time. So it was interesting to get mm -hmm. everybody's take on that. And then uh, we kind of all got into a talk about disclosure, if mm -hmm. disclosure should yeah. happen or not happen with all the information that the government knows about aliens. Hi. Well, um, what I found interesting at the meetup group was there was a guy who said he was from the government, although he couldn't tell us anymore. So I, I don't know. Yeah. That was kind of interesting. Um, although he said he was interested, you know, in the subject and stuff, but, um, I don't know. That was different. And there was a lady also that kind of seemed, um, out of the movie, do you think, are you fam? Oh, are we related? We don't look no. related at all. Like, uh, no, we are complete we're opposites. opposites. Like, yeah. We, no, we're not related at no, all. No, we're not we're related. And then, I, I don't know, I kind of missed your question. Like, do you think anybody... Do you think contact is close? I think they oh, said. Do you oh, think, it, oh. are we close to... Having our first contact? Well... If it's the government that's going to tell us about it, no, I don't, I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think the government has any intentions of telling us anything really kind of ever <laughs> I don't know yeah I mean um, we were talking about that though right you know about um yeah a lot of the people in the group think oh yeah disclosure should happen some kind of announcement I mean I don't know I just think that for that to happen there needs to we first as as humanity needs to accept that and really become more open to something like that because Right now, all that I can see that that causing is like a mass hysteria. Because there's not enough people that are willing to accept that, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, not yet, anyhow. I don't really see it happening in my lifetime, anyhow. Uh, my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, yeah, it's, it's really an opinion-based thing, and... Uh, um... See, there, somebody just said... See, I, I heard this 
you know, that they said if Hillary had got elected that they were going to disclose UFO. I don't think they were going to. I think that was just a rumor on the internet, really. I mean, did she ever mention anything? I don't, I don't know. Or, I don't really know where, where did, where that, did that really come, come from? from? Could you tell us? I yeah. mean, was it for real or I don't, I just don't see that happening. Really? I don't know. It's quiet. <laughs> Like, they don't know the either. Thing, I don't. In the movie theater, it was dead quiet the whole time. It was. I mean, it was such an interesting movie, and it was so good. I thought nobody's talking in the movie. It, it was dead silent the whole time. Everybody. And it was attention. a two-hour movie, and it went by really fast. I thought. Yeah, it was yeah. a lot better than I was expecting. It was really good. I really loved it. And the UFO meetup group went really good too. I mean, they talked mm -hmm. about actually changing from Friday nights to maybe Sundays, if not every week, but at least some of the, or every month, but at least some of the months, because they had so many people. There was like twenty people. Yeah, there was a there. lot of people. That was surprising. So a lot of like-minded people interested in UFOs. Uh, a lot of people said that they had experience with UFOs and stuff, so it was interesting, yeah. We, yeah, we heard a story from somebody, oh, uh, we heard a story from somebody who was apparently abducted by an, an alien. We heard a story of a woman seeing oh, a- Oh, check our Twitter. Well, I'm on my phone right now. Can, I don't know how I can do that. Yeah, when we're done with the broadcast, <laughs> we can check Twitter. But, uh, yeah. yeah, this meetup group was really cool. I'd be happy to go to one of those again. So, um... Algeria. We caught... Okay. We, we got... Uh, we learned about this meetup group through meetup.com. So, wherever you guys are, you know, I'm seeing... Pakistan. Well, all, all a lot of... A lot of international... World, I don't like. know, you know, if meetup is actually... I don't know if that's international, but... You should definitely check it out. At least try to get involved in a local community of, of weirdos because there's so many ideas that you can learn. There's so much that needs to be talked about as far as weird stuff. So, you know, yeah. if you're in America, I know for sure there's meetup.com in America. Let me know, you know, if there's meetups other, other places. Yeah, so we kind of just did this Periscope just kind of out of the blue, really. And... Yeah. Here Have you ever seen, seen a UFO? UFO? No. I know. We wish. We're hoping. We're waiting for the day. <laughs> no, we haven't. We haven't. Um, I don't know. Any other alien questions? UFO questions? What in? Florida. Hey, Florida. What's up, Florida? Yeah, we're kind of on the same page. We ha I haven't had an experience. Yeah, we believe they exist, but we have not seen one yet. We are hoping to someday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. All right, I don't know. We got anything else? Um, yeah, so we just saw the movie Arrival, and we loved it. We thought it was a great uh, portrayal of I mean, alien invasion, I guess. You could say, but not your typical alien movie. It was really good, we thought, and um, yeah. And then we, we just it. checked out our Thumbs UFO up. meetup group. It was really Thumbs cool. Up. It was really cool just getting to meet some more like-minded people and just having kind of more knowledge about the the whole UFO thing. I mean, we've done tons of paranormal investigations, different cryptids, different hauntings, stuff mm -hmm. like that. But uh, as far as aliens and UFOs Not go, a ton of it, so yeah. We so haven't we really always... had much. <gasps> Ireland. Man, oh, cool. that is on my bucket list. Look at I that. I want to go there so bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, oh, the uh, arrow is like sticking oh, out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just seen that. That's, That's funny. funny. Oh, we didn't that? notice that when we said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, um, this will actually be our last broadcast for a while, I won't be seeing you. Probably, you know, with the holidays coming up. Um, yeah. It's holidays, just we've got Thanksgiving so and Christmas busy. coming up. So yeah. we're pretty busy. But and we don't have any paranormal things planned until after the holiday season. Yeah, so. it's kind of going into our slow season, which we're kind of catching up on stuff. Pennsylvania, hey. Hey, everyone, I'm an alien. Can you teleport me, please? <laughs> <laughs> But um, we still are looking for a cameraman. Oh, yeah. I should always mention that. Always mention that. It's, um, you can apply on our website, www.huntersoftheunknown.com. Um, still looking for a cameraman for our group. 
Um, yeah, you know, don't need. Out. Yeah, you no don't need any experience. Necessary. We have no experience. the we have the yeah. camera. Uh, really, all we need is somebody who is interested in the paranormal and is willing to go along with us yeah. whenever we need, you know, to go places. So if you so. go on our website, you can kind of just check out. There's a little thing there uh, just to check out kind of what we're looking for. And yeah, really, no experience. Um, I've seen somebody said Gettysburg. I've been to Gettysburg. Very cool. Very haunted place. Yeah. We need a break. <laughs> we actually need a break to catch up on stuff. We've got a lot yeah. of evidence still we're going through from past investigations. It takes a long time and to we go need through to stuff. Kind of, kind of catch up on that. And, you know, the weather's going to start getting really cold. We're by Chicago. It's My like, phone ah! is going nuts. Nuts. <laughs> I don't know. The aliens are here to get us, I guess. <laughs> So, um, the name of the movie is Arrival. Arrival. It was very good. We loved it. So, go see it. Would definitely recommend it. I guess my phone's going crazy here and um, we should probably be getting off of here. Yeah, there's a oh, lot of UFO Key activity West, yeah. everywhere across the yeah, United Key States. Yeah, Key West is one of the places we've talked about going. Yeah. Um, there's always too many places to go, and we were literally just saying yeah. there's never enough time. Too many cool places, too little time. We need this to be our full-time job. Yeah. So, all right. I think we're going to sign off now. Um, definitely recommend the, the movie, movie Arrival. Yeah. Definitely go see it. It was a really good movie. Yeah. Really good movie. So Make sure you follow us. You know, we both have our own personal Twitter accounts. Um, our group is at Hunters Unknown. I am at Hunters Madeline and at Hunters Cindy. Uh, you can also find us on Facebook, YouTube, and our website easily by going to www.huntersoftheunknown.com. Mm -hmm. And you can find all our, there's all the um, links for Facebook, Twitter, and all of that is on our website too. So thanks for joining us, guys, and have a happy Sunday. Yep. Yeah. Bye. Or picture my thumb. <laughs> oh, impossible. I need this <laughs> now it's going to be your face. <laughs> Great. Why is it like not working at all? It's like froze. My, my, my phone is hot too. It's not doing anything. It's like messed up. Oh. Are we still going? Yeah. Yes, we're still. Okay, I'm trying. Hey, trying there here. it is. <laughs> Bye. Bye.